Good morning, this is Father Jeff Henry for 19 August, and I'd like to share with you not a reading of from today's Mass, but from morning prayer or louds, but listen to what the book of Deuteronomy says with regard to God's relationship to his people. It was not because you are the largest of all nations that the Lord set his heart on you and chose you, for you are really the smallest of all nations. It was because the Lord loved you and because his fidelity to the oath he had sworn to your fathers that he brought you out with his strong hand from the place of slavery and ransomed you from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. One of the things that I think a lot of times we as Catholics hold on to, we may not admit it out loud or even consider it, but I think it dwells within us, is this idea that since we are the largest religious body in the world, we are the right religious body for that reason. And there's some problems with that. And the problem is this, is that we're looking for externals. We always do that. We look for towards if we have, and it's not just numbers. It can be the wealthiest, it can be the most powerful, it can be what, the one with the greatest music, or, or the most active this or that or the other thing. And we attribute our viability, God's presence with us by virtue of all these external indications that we are the chosen people. And I suppose that's pretty common in human nature to do that. And I think we fall into that as well. However, what God is saying this morning is not that you are the greatest because of who you are or because of how strong you are, this or that or the other thing, but because for no other reason that God loved you. And I think that we could take great comfort in that because sometimes I think as a, as a, as a, as a chapel, we, we feel that we don't have all the amenities that a bigger church would have. I heard one Catholic chaplain, uh, Air Force, uh, even calling chapel worship nothing more than Catholic light. And it's not the case. The truth of the matter is that God is there because God loves us and values us for who we are, not for how much we can perform or how much we can demonstrate our, our abilities, but it's because of the mercy of God that God says, You're, I love you as you are, I will provide everything that you need, big or small. Let's have a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, gracious Lord, we do thank you and we pray that we may always be little and find you in the little things, not just in the big things. Through Christ our Lord, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.